I messed up. I'm a phony. <laughs> ah. Why? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> so, y'all read the title. I'm gonna just get right into it. For those of y'all that didn't know, I'm a student here at Howard. My name is Max McGadney. I'm a senior sports medicine major with a minor in chemistry on a pre-med track from Illinois by way of Maine. You know, being a pre-med student is not easy. Um, and I don't really show the work that goes into just school on camera very often. And to be honest, part of the reason for the title is I haven't been doing my due diligence the way I thought I could. Um, I've had to make some adjustments and you know, it's a work in progress. But I've actually taken no less than 15 credits every semester. Like, look, I know you just heard that. I'm a full-time student and I've been doing YouTube damn near full-time this whole time. If you don't leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you just don't wanna see a real one win. Like, what are you, come on bro, it's all free. Like, if you're talking strictly credits wise, by the end of this semester, I would have been had enough credits to graduate, but because of my chemistry minor, I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now. Bro, this has been weighing on me so heavily cause it's like, I almost feel like a phony posting on YouTube still is talking about like, I'm a senior and da da da. Even though I'm still a senior, it's just, I, I'm gonna explain. My whole college situation was a little different. So my freshman year was fully virtual. Um, you know, I graduated high school in 2020. 2020, you already know what it is, dude. And your first semester, they don't pick, you don't pick your classes, they pick your classes for you. Second semester, you pick your classes and I picked like psychology and some other things that were, that fell into my major, but technically weren't like requirement, like hard requirements, like the hard core sciences, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, one of my biggest problems with being at Howard is trying to get into classes, at least with my major, or I know other people have this problem too, but you have like an alt pin you need to sign up for your classes and getting that all, all my semesters has been a challenge, which means getting your classes on time has been a challenge. So look, as a pre-med student, this is usually how it goes, right? Freshman year. Damn, my hand running is trash. At least when we're talking about core classes, because all your other classes depends on your major. But if we're talking strictly core sciences, your first your first year, your first year, you're either taking bio one and two and the lab or chem one and two and the lab, right? Sophomore year is the same thing, either that or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So if you took bio this time, you take chem this time, same with the lab, you feel me? Obviously this is a rough representation, but like, hear me out. So look, right? This is a rough representation. So like, realistically, you could take physics your freshman year, you could freaking take orgo your sophomore year, it's really whatever. But at the end of the day, the whole idea is still the same. Our freshman year, didn't take either one. My sophomore year, I only took one quarter of what I was supposed to take. My junior year comes and I take the rest of bio two and then chem one and two, right? So that's cool. I still have the chem lab left over for this year. But wait, now I'm a senior and I still have to take the chem lab and I gotta take physics one and two and orgo. So I gotta fit a lab here and all of this into one year. Yeah, I, I had high hopes for myself, didn't I? Orgo one, orgo two, physics one, physics two, and a chem lab, right? So that's all right now. Like that's literally what I'm in right now. This is where it gets to the shit skis, right? So I'm taking physics one, I'm taking my chem lab, taking orgo, right? Hmm, hmm. this shit still hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm taking these classes. Organic chemistry is notoriously one of the hardest classes you take as a pre-med student. And um, I didn't do too hot, to be honest. I didn't do too hot. I was trying, I was using my the same study methods I've been using, but it just wasn't good enough. And I can admit to that. Towards the end, I was starting to get to the point where like, I knew if I did that from the jump, I would have been fine. But essentially I damn near failed the class. I've never had a grade lower than a C in all of my college experience, I damn near failed this class. So with that, I decided to withdraw from the class. Now mind you, with a chemistry minor, in order to graduate, I need Gen Chem 1, Gen Chem 2, both the labs, and Orgo 1, Orgo 2, and Orgo Lab. So because I've withdrawn from Orgo 1, my fall semester of my senior year, that means I have to take Orgo 1 next semester, and then Orgo 2 over the summer or another semester, you know what I'm saying, in the lab. <sighs> So that's where I'm at now. Um, other than that, my grades are fine. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I made the decision to drop it, because it's like, bro, if I drop this class, there's a very good chance I have a 4.0 this semester. Um, that's with my physics and my other classes. Hold up, wait, I almost forgot about my whole advisor situation. So boom, freshman year, didn't have an advisor. Sophomore year, I had an advisor. He helped me pick out some classes, but never the topic of med school was never discussed. It was more just like, oh, you want to go to med school? All right, so you need to take these classes. Boom, 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 boom. Right, but he didn't like lay out a plan. You know what I'm saying? Junior year comes, I have a different advisor. Right, same thing. Um, not a pre health advisor. You know what I'm saying? And getting in contact, I I just didn't. My advice is go to your pre health advisor ASAP. Try and get in contact with them. Even I'm still currently trying to do it. Like I'm not even gonna lie, it's hard to get in contact with them. You can't talk to them one on one. It's a small office here, and they only do group shits. So <laughs> fuck me, right? Senior or no? Actually, technically, in between my junior year, you switch from this one other advisor to the big dog. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her, cause honestly. Okay, so but look, big dog is literally the big dog. Like she holds down the major that I'm a part of, and there's a lot of us. But she does it all by herself. So it's like. If you email her, you're not getting to her. And I didn't know this beforehand because I didn't know anyone else in my major. And da -da 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 Whatever, right? I would still struggle to get my alt pen, all this other craziness. Then my senior year comes. I had a fellow major friend that was in my orgo class that told me you just got to go to her office. Her office moved here. Actually, hold up, because I tried going to her office before and she would never be in there. Also that. But, not she would never be there, but like I tried going like three, four times and every time I went, she wasn't there. We've been through three different advisors in three years of being on campus. Does that even make sense? What the fuck were you thinking? So yeah, now that I'm a senior, I've went into her office and talked to her and tried to figure out stuff. And she's been very helpful, but it's just, it's too late. I'm going to be honest, it was too late. Okay, the thing is, it's like, it's on me, right? I'm going to take responsibility for me. You know what I'm saying? Because realistically, if I would have known better, this could have been handled perfectly. I could be, I could be damn near taking the MCAT right now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm a, like, and I don't want to use this excuse because I'm a grown ass man, but I'm a kid. Nigga, I'm a, I'm a kid. What? <laughs> no, but you go to college and you're paying this much money and you have these scholarships and you're just trying to get through and do what you got to do. What am I paying for? Right? I got these professors, I got these classes, but who's helping me? Bruh, like, nobody, like, if you come here, I want you to understand this. Nobody is going to reach their hand out to help you. Not a single person is gonna do that. I love this school. I think black kids, black boys and girls should, if they wanna go into higher education, which I don't think everyone should, I think you should go to HBCU. But bruh, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but no. Bro, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta dig. You gotta find. You gotta dig deep and just find what you need, bro. Cause they're not gonna reach their hand out. You might be asking yourself, Max, why didn't you like take orgo during like a winter class or like, you know what I'm saying, do a winter term or take classes outside of Howard? Now Howard has this dumb. Howard has this dumbass rule. I don't know why. I don't know who came up with this. They have this dumbass rule that you have to take your last 30 credits at Howard University. You can't transfer them from another school. You can't go to a community college. Your last 30, only your last 30, has to be at Howard University. Who came up with that? Bruh! What do you mean? That leads me to the title of the video. Um, I might not graduate because I'm going to take Oregon one next semester and I know I'm gonna do way better than I did this time. So yeah, that means I'm gonna have to take Orgo 1 next semester and then hopefully take Orgo 2 in the lab over the summer or in the fall. These summer classes are expensive. I hate that I have to do this, but this is just my path. And I feel like I've had, I needed to confess it to y'all cause it's like, it's not something I've been intentionally hiding. I just didn't know how to like, cause for me, this is a big deal. Like for me, this hurt, like I was down bad. I still am, you know what I'm saying? Coming to terms with what that means for my future in terms of like, getting ready for the MCAT and all that. But, bro, it is what it is, bro. Feels like I'm alone, even though I know I'm not. Also, this is my first first ever withdraw my transcript, so it's really not, like, it's not the best thing ever, but you know what I'm saying? It's something we gotta work with. It's just, it is what it is. But one last thing, bro. One last thing. Let me talk to you about this professor, G. There's only so much I can say without putting him on blast. Actually, fuck it, I'm putting him on blast. So, this man is the head of the chemistry department at Howard currently. I have respect for the man, I'm not gonna lie. Like, in one of his lectures, he said, yeah, like, y'all are like my kids to me. Like, 
I want y'all to succeed. The reason I do this is because I want y'all to succeed, da 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 da, right? Love that, I love a passionate, anybody that's passionate in anything I can appreciate. But bruh, at the beginning of the semester, he told us that we were gonna have like 10 quizzes, four exams and a final, right? Homework he was gonna assign at his own will, whatever. So I stuck through this class from the beginning. So what is that, September? Or is it end of, end of August? End of August, beginning of September, all the way till the beginning of November. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was in the class damn near all the way through. The only thing in the grade book was three exams by the time I dropped the class. Three exams, only thing in the grade book. No homework, no quizzes, nothing. Like we had taken two quizzes, weren't in the grade book. We had turned in homeworks, wasn't in the grade book. The exams he would grade and give back, he would literally, the first exam we took it, we didn't get it back for a month. And I'm not exaggerating. Like actually it was either three weeks or a month. Like, and we couldn't even keep the exam. Like he had us take pictures of it in class and then give it back to him. And like during his lectures, bro, like, and I understand organic chemistry is a hard class. It's really hard to like, there's only so much you can do in an hour span for like lectures. So like every time, every time you sit down, he's just ripping it. Like he's just, he just sits down and he just goes crazy, bro. Like not even goes crazy. He's just going over a slide. Like he, he gives us the slides. He's just going over the slides. Mind you, he assigns no, okay. I mentioned the homeworks he assigned, right? But he doesn't assign homework in a way where it's like he corrects it, he'll give it back to you. Like, first of all, the way he assigns homework is inconsistent. We probably have like three, four homework assignments over the whole course of the thing. And it's like, I just feel like if you're a, to assign homework assignments that follow the exact curriculum, exactly what you're gonna have on the test, exactly what you wanted us to learn, and then like graded it, gave it back to us, or like, even not even graded it, just went over it, something, bro. You know, it'd make, it'd make it easier for people to follow along. And he didn't do that, mind you. Um, he would always show up to class at least 10 minutes late unless it was exam day. Mind you, it's already a 50 minute class. You show up to class 10 minutes late, then you just run through lecture, like, damn. And lastly, even during his office hours, I remember he assigned us a homework assignment. I'll pull up to his office hours. I'm like, yo, can we go over like some of the questions in the homework? And he's like, no, like y'all gotta do it first and then I'll go over it. Mind you, we have an exam like two classes from then. So we turn in this homework there's not enough, it's another office hours to ask about the questions on the homework that's gonna be on the exam. How am I supposed to know if I'm doing this correctly? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit! What? And like, I, the worst part is, is I respect the man. Like, it, may, it would make it easier if I actually hated him, and I don't. I really don't, and I know that's crazy to say, but I don't hate him. But like, God damn! And one last thing, one last thing, just to close off, the scene of this whole video, what I had just experienced. <laughs> like, first exam comes back, right? Everybody, you know, it was a cool exam, it was fine. Bruh, the average grade was a 42 on the exam. Mind you, I know it's organic chemistry, so I'm like, all right, bro, like, we can we can make this work. Like, I just gotta put in that, that pain, I gotta put in that work. Mind you, it's like 100, or maybe like, no, I think we started off with 100 kids. You know, people falling off, I like flies throughout the class, which I expected. Second exam come through. Average grade, 30. Huh? What? Mind you, at this point, this is the only two things in the grade book. So like on average, a nigga is failing. <laughs> Niggas are failing. And then lastly, this is, look, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I studied for this test. I felt decent, but I knew, I was like, bro, like, I don't know, bro, like this is, I kind of dropped the ball. Like I should have been on this from the jump, studying the way I was studying for this last exam. Bruh, we get in it. I take it, I'm like, bro, I gotta drop the class. I gotta withdraw, I have to. Cause the withdrawal period was on Friday. I took the exam on Monday and I'm like, bro, I, I didn't feel good about it. Like, there's no way, like, I can't bounce back from this. I can't, I can't. Nigga, there's four exams. I didn't do good on the first two. I just took the third one, didn't feel good about that. Now there's one more exam and a final. And that's the only thing in the fucking grade book. Mind you, he accepts no extra credit. He doesn't scale the class. This was all on the syllabus, like, <sighs> And yes, I, I, I will accept full blame for this, full accountability. But at the same time, bro, I got the grade back for the third exam right before I withdrew from the class. Nigga, the average was a 22. What? A 22? So on average, the class is failing. And like, I feel like it's probably normal for organic chemistry, but 22? 30? This shit just went down. Like, how does your retention go from like pretty shit at the beginning of the semester? Lower. Am I bugging? Please comment down below if I'm like tweaking. All support is appreciated because you know a nigga needs it. And that's why I love y'all, honestly. Like, I feel like my supporters, bro, 
Y'all really ride with me, bro. Like, y'all, I be reading the comments. Y'all really, like, resonate, bro. Like, the last video I posted with, like, the, the, the racist, the can black people be racist? Like, people are not ready to have those conversations, but y'all are. Man, I love y'all, man. Subscribe to the channel. We still go make videos. <sighs> Thank you for watching. And my lips ashy. I don't know. I love y'all. Bye.